Hey guys, well here we are on the set of House of Anubis. Touchstone of Ra. At the end of season three, we destroy Ahmed and send her back to the underworld. Now we're filming the Touchstone of Ra, which introduces some great new characters. Oh, look, this one's gorgeous. They call it the Touchstone of Ra. It starts with something going missing from a museum that affects all the dynamics of House of Anubis. An exhibit went missing. Today we're in the Museum of Liverpool. Oh, come on, everyone. Is your field trip Victor's waiting? Usually we break stuff on set at the House of Anubis, and now we have to be really careful. Some All these are 6,000 years old. Well, you can't go around doing things like that. This stuff is actually valuable. Don't mess up. Out! This scene is absolutely massive. This is the climax of the whole special. Lots of special effects. I oh, mean, yeah. real life stuff. It's freezing cold. Hand warmers of Osiris. <laughs> and a lot of action, a lot of big stuff, and uh, you guys wait and see. It's, it's going to be a big end. What is it? My destiny. What will Victor be up to next? I think Victor will follow Frobisher to Egypt, so we can find out how to make the elixir of life. Surely after all that has happened, Victor won't want to get involved in any Egyptian mystery again. There's always going to be artifacts to find and pins to drop as long as Anubis House still stands. We have been uh, infiltrated in the Anubis house recently with uh, four new characters. It's really exciting. They play some younger kids, but they come in and they just shake things up. Who are you? I'm Erin. <sighs> I'm Cassie. Newbies. And they go back into their room, and there's me and Cassie. They're sort of moving in, and Cassie's got all her clothes everywhere. And they're like, what? Who are these new girls? We instantly fall into the thick of the story. I'm waiting to come on for a, um, for a scene where I run downstairs and interrupt Victor and Mr. Sweet. Oh, uh, hi, Mr. Sweet. And lastly, you've got Sophia, who's the kind of elusive one. She's really smart. She's bright. She knows how to cater to her audience, what kind of girl to be around certain people. Alex and Eugene didn't actually tell me that uh, in the cellar you need to duck while you're walking up the stairs, otherwise you get a moose head in the face. <laughs> I'll get them back. Everyone's just been so nice, haven't they? Mm. Kind of pulled them aside today, you know. If you don't run to lunch, then you ain't getting no lunch. <laughs> you ain't getting no food. <laughs> As the endless storm recedes, Amat has been imprisoned and Frobisher has been saved. But the mysteries of the House of Anubis are never answered. Oh, Eddie, thank goodness, what is that thing? They call it the Touchstone of Ra. Frobisher is returning to Egypt. But what if he has unfinished business? The Touchstone belonged to the master of this house. Frobisher smiles. A bond with another Egyptian spirit a human sacrifice is required in exchange for Ra's gold. But is it the house itself which holds the darkest secret? Stone, it's affecting the house. Does the house have a distrustful side? A second spirit that works for evil? The mysteries remain. No! 